Fear God and keep his commandments. So at the conclusion of everything, right? Fear God, keep his commandments. Now go give me Isaiah 34 and 16. I'm going to show you something. What book we should read. Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16. It's getting ready to tell you something. Read that for me. The book of Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. So he tells us to seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, which is his Bible. Come on. No one of these shall fail. Meaning none of these prophecies in this Bible is going to fail. Everything is going to come to pass. Read. Is that it? None shall want her mate. And you can't mate any other bu uh, book with this Bible. Now I'm going to show you. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and verse 32. I'm going to show you. So it says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, right? And it said, none of these prophecies are going to fail. Meaning everything this book says is going to happen is going to come to pass. Then it said, none shall want her mate. Meaning there's no other book that can contest with the Bible, right? That's now, right. check this out. Read this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters right. shall be given unto another people. So the Bible says our sons and our daughters were going to be given unto another people. The Bible said this thousands of years ago, but did that not come to pass? Was our sons and our daughters not given unto another nation, right? Come on. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. When it says we shall fail all the day long for, you know, mourning for our kids. Have any of y'all seen 12 Years a Slave? You remember when that lady had her daughter taken away? What does she do every day? What she pray? Pray and what else? Cried. She cried every single day because there was no might in our people's hands to get our children back. Right. Now guess what? Let's fast forward that to today's time. If 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 so-called white man sees something that they deem we're not doing right, all right? Don't they come and DHS take away our children? Right. And can we get our children back? No, not at all. Anytime they deem us as an unfit parent, there's nothing we can do to get our children back. Right. There's no amount of money in the world that allow us to get our children back, right? So that curse was talked about back then, and guess what? It's still happening today. Right. That's how we know that this is the book that we're supposed to be reading. Right. This is how we know this is true because it said it was going to happen, then it came to pass, right? Now give me verse 68. Verse 68. The Lord, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So, I'm going to show you what Egypt means, right? So, do y'all know a little bit about the Bible? Any look, did you know about the Israelites going into slavery? Right. The Israelites went into slavery, and they, were, they was in slavery under the Egyptians, right? So, now, hold that. I'm going to show you what Egypt meant to the Israelites. Read that. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, right. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. out of the house of bondage. What did it call Egypt? Read it again. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. I brought you out of the land of Egypt. Come on. Out of the house of bondage. So what did it call Egypt? House of bondage, which is slavery, right? right? So now go back to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Uh -huh. So he said he was going to bring us into Egypt. We said Egypt was what again? House of bondage or slavery. He said he was going to bring us into slavery again with what? With ships. Who went into slavery on cargo slave ships? We did. Right. That's how we know that we're. So, this is the book to follow. There's no other book on this planet Earth that can give you prophecies and they actually come in the past. Right, not the right. Quran, not the Book of the Dead. What, what's some other stupid books? I don't even know. It don't even matter. All that matters is this Bible right. because it's giving us prophecies of what would actually happen to us as a people. Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. Read that. Bring it up. Verse 48. Uh -huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. The Bible said we were going to serve our who? Thine enemy. So... He said we were going to serve. Oh, hold on, hold on. I didn't finish 68. Go back to 68. Let me finish that. Then we're going to go to 48. Read. Verse 68. Uh -huh. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, right. thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there ye shall be sold uh -huh. unto your enemy. The Bible said we were going to be sold unto. Where's that sign at? Is, uh, where, where we at? Where's the sign? We're at the auction blocks. That's right there. Right here? Right at the bottom. There's another one too. Uh, oh, down, down here. 
So what we, happened was, he said, there you should be sold unto your that again. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou yeah, shalt see it no more again. Right. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. So the Bible says we were going to be sold unto our enemies. Look at these things. Look at that right down there. It says Negroes for sale. $1,200. They were selling us, right? $200, $300, right? So it said we were going to be sold unto our who? Your enemy. Damn. Who sold us into slavery? Damn, white people sold us into slavery. Right. Are, they not, are they teaching this in the Christian church? Nope. No, not at all. But is, is this not in the Bible? We're reading it out the Bible. That's why our people have so much confusion about this Bible. It's because a lot of our people don't believe in it. Right. Because they've been taught wrong out of the Bible. Right. And I was in that place too. I didn't understand. But then I have brothers hold this. Give me Acts chapter 8. And I think it's like verse 21 or 31. Where he said, how can I understand unless some man teach me, right? So, I'm going to show you something real quick. Read that. The book of Acts chapter 8 and verse 30. Uh -huh. And Philip went thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understand if thou would thou read it? He said, do you understand what you read? Come on. And he said, how can I, except some man should guide me? He said, how can I understand unless some man should guide me? Now I'm about to make a little statement real quick. I'm from Kansas City. Y'all know who that is rapping? Fat Tone. Fat Tone got killed by the, the brothers up in Cali because of what happened to Max Dre, right? We all know this, right? I come, he's from the same town I'm from. Right. But we have been conditioned to listen to his music, right? We have been taught to listen to that type of music. Do you want to know what one of his lyrics is? He said, uh, hold on, I'm going to try to paraphrase it. He said, uh, the, one of, the D, right? He said, oh, well, I might go to jail. She only 13, but her booty's big as hell. Oh, well, I ain't going to regret it. The one of D, like a fiend, wanted credit. Credit? How, how do we listen to this? He just, he just told you that he was committing statutory rape. Right. And our people all came with it. And they listened to this. Even when I was out in the world, once I heard that lyric, I stopped listening to the dude. I said, this nigga's crazy. Bring it out. He out here talking about we can have sex with underage girls. Right. I ain't about to get caught up. And you wonder why these things happen to our people. It's no accident that he was gunned down. Right. That wasn't no accident. It's because of the lies that our people live is the reason why these things happen to us. Now it's time for us to come and teach each other a different way of life. Because we see what that way of life got him. We see that way of life that it got Mac Dre. We see all the way off Mac, because Mac Minister was the one, him and the other dude that killed him. This is how we know these things, right? But how do we stop that cycle? How do we stop it? Now go back, go back. I just hope, we just read it actually said, how can I understand unless some men teach me? Right. Now we have to reform our people's mind and get them out of that mind state right. and get them back to the mind state of the Bible. Right. But now going back to the point where you were saying, which book is it that we should read? I'm getting ready to continue to show you prophecies out of this book, right? So read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Slavery. With ships. We went to slavery with ships. Come on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, right. thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for, for bond men and bond women. It said we were going to be sold unto our enemies for slave men and slave women. Come on. And no man shall buy you. Meaning nobody was going to redeem us. Because guess what? Nat Turner tried to. Uh, 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 Harriet Tubman tried. Malcolm X tried. Martin Luther King tried. Marcus Garvey tried. All these people tried, right? But the only person that's going to be able to redeem us is Christ himself. Give me verse 48. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Dang. Now, because remember it said we were going to be sold unto our enemies. We know that was so-called white man, right? It said there we were going to serve our enemies for what? Which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger. So guess what? If we want something to eat, do we own these stores? No, not at all. If you wanted to close down the buy and trade, because think about it, guess what happened when uh, COVID hit? And, and now, even now, you have a famine coming. Do we have the ability to get these foods that are missing? Do you know a 60 count of eggs has went up to like $25? You used to get it for $4 or $5. It's, it's, it's all the way up now. But we don't control that, right? We don't control that, Read. And then thirst. Same thing with thirst. We don't own Aquafina, Dasani, 
Fiji. We don't own that right. If we have beaches, guess what? Can we open and close the beach when we want to? No, not at all. It said we were going to serve our enemies in hunger and in thirst. Come on. And in nakedness. Same thing with clothes. And in what of all things. And in everything that we want. If we want a car, guess who we're going to go to? Education. If we want a driver's license, guess what? If you want a death certificate, birth certificate, any of those things, toilet paper. Remember COVID hit, but no toilet paper. We couldn't provide it, right? White men say, you know what? I'm going to just make sure there's no toilet paper. Guess what? Our people went crazy, right? Come on. Don't forget about cheese either. Cheese right? Come on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So the Bible says he shall put a yoke of iron upon our neck. Come on. Until he have destroyed thee. Who put the yokes of iron upon our necks? The white man did, right? We're reading that in history. That's happening even till today. They're the one putting us. We, we feel the jail cells. But he said, he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until what? Until he have destroyed thee. Until he have destroyed us, meaning mentally. So he took those chains off and guess what? We're destroyed mentally. We right. listen to that filth of the music. We entertain that. We don't call ourselves the Israelites no more. We don't call ourselves by our tribes. Right. We don't. We we have no knowledge of uh, of love for one another. We don't have any of that. Right. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is 